Vernon Jones, a Democrat turned Republican in Georgia. Remember, he tried to run for governor, and then, of course, he dropped out, and then he chose to run for a congressional race. Well, he was in a runoff with the Republican nomination for that congressional seat. His punk ass lost. Uh, Dave Wasserman just uh, posted this. I've seen enough. Mike Collins defeats Trump endorsed Vernon Jones in the Georgia 10 GOP runoff. Uh, it's a solid Republican district. Uh, l- let me just go ahead and say this. Uh, Vernon, we told your punk ass you were gonna lose. We told you you were trash. We told you you were a despicable human being. We told you you were a damn fool and an embarrassment to black people and an embarrassment to Kappas. And you got exactly what you deserved. Okay, you are a fraud. And the reality is, you a little punk who was scared to debate me, uh, you tucked and ran, you blocked me on Twitter because you couldn't handle the heat. And now you're sorry behind lost. You the same fool who was crowd surfing for Trump, sucking up to him, saying whatever. And guess what? He lost in Georgia, and now your sorry ass lost in Georgia. I said what I said. What's wrong, Jason? <laughs> nah, nah. I know, I know, you know, I know Vernon. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> call, call his ass right now, see how you doing. <laughs> hey, text me his number. I'll call his sorry ass. All right, yeah, I, I'll, I'll try to get him on your show. That punk yeah. ain't coming. Oh, that'd be fun. That punk ain't coming. He's the same reason why Fox News don't call me. Uh-uh, him want this smoke. But you already do Kappas like that, Roland. Come on now. He's a Kappa. He damn sure not an alpha. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. Mm-hmm. I, I, so, so I love, I love that, I love that certain scene uh, from the Cotton Club when uh, the Gregory Hines character. Uh, give me a uh, camera one. When the Gregory Hines character uh, was really upset with a certain gangster. And then he went to the uh, he went to the uh, character playing Buffy Johnson, uh, and which was played by, uh, of course, uh, Lawrence Fishburne, uh, and and he wanted him dead. Uh, and then he said, uh, Sandman. He said, uh, You don't want to do that. He said, but What you should do, we'll handle that. He said, Then you can tap dance on his grave. We can do an A step, Vernon Jones, on your political grave. Because your punk ass just lost. Yes, I said it, and I don't care, okay? Because he is a, a despicable human being. All that crap he was running, and now all that, all that trash you talked, all that MAGA ass you kissed. Go ahead right. and show his grinning face. All that <laughs> MAGA ass you kissed. Trump Wait. endorsed you, and you lost. Right, Roland. That's that's I think one of the, the bigger story here um, is that here it is another Trump endorsement loses, particularly in Georgia. So if there's something that you know uh, shows that Trump isn't as popular as he believes he is in Georgia, it's all these losses like Raffensperger winning again and beating Jody Heiss. It's Kemp winning by 50 points. And now you have somebody who was supposed to win this uh, congressional race, and he lost. So, uh, you know, I think, again, and, and it is important to say that Mike Collins, though he didn't get the Trump endorsement, he still kisses Trump's butt. So he's still kind of a Trump guy. It's not like it was MAGA versus a non-MAGA candidate. These were two MAGA candidates, but one had a direct... Uh, Trump endorsement and lost again. So I think one of the things that we're seeing is that MAGA is starting to, you know, it's a beast that Trump created, but now he can't control it. I want Um, all of them to lose. If you MAGA, I want you to lose. And all I'm simply saying is, hey, Vernon Jones, the A step is on your political grave. Now, and by the way, Vernon, I'll be in Atlanta tomorrow and Thursday. Oh, please come by and see me. Bring your ass. I think Jason had a good point, though. I I, I do want to follow up in regards to that, um, since you're doing the the comparisons about 
uh, Warnock and, and Herschel, right? Because you're saying Oh, Herschel that next. He next. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I, hey y'all, get that Hershey Walker video. I sent y'all on Monday. Ready? Go. <laughs> Great. The, the the issue is, you know, you said they were both a MAGA, right? And that and Trump can't um, even control MAGA anymore, which I don't necessarily agree with. I'm wondering if there is a difference in the excuse of saying, okay, we're going to pick the black MAGA, so we don't seem racist, but we, they're still kind of MAGA because they support Trump. Or, you know, that was the reason why they won MAGA versus MAGA. Or do we still see that we have this uprising um, where if it is MAGA supported, if it's Trump based, a part of the uh, Republican Party, um, the new Tea Party, um, if we're going to see those types of primaries lose. And I, I wonder that because, you know, we saw what happened in Virginia and they picked um, in their primary, the, the MAGA person, and unfortunately, you know, he won. I so, want all MAGA people to lose. But they're not. So I'm wondering if the trajectory after this January 6th hearing is going to change some of that as we unfold some more primaries in August. Hey, all I'm simply saying to everybody who's watching here, yo, Matt, take them all out. In Texas, Abbott, gotta go. Dan Patrick, gotta go. If... if I'm real clear. If you stand with Donald Trump, throw their punk asses out of office. I don't think you need now, me you to add. List more of them. Matt? Oh, I, I don't think you needed me to add comment on that. And uh, kind of to what we were talking about earlier with DeSantis, you see Greg Abbott trying to trying to do his his best crazy to jockey himself to get in position to run for president as well. So you know, I want them all out. I mean, if you see the commercials that they're running here, they're absurd yep. and terrifying, and they all need to be gone. All right, folks, back to that Mark unfiltered video in just one moment. How about sushi? I just had sushi for lunch yesterday. How about tacos? Automatic emergency braking, one of six advanced safety features standard on every 2022 Chevy Equinox. Find new technology, find new roads, Chevrolet. Folks, Black Star Network is here. I'm real um, revolutionary right now. Like, Support this man, Black Media. He makes sure that our stories are told. Uh, thank you for being the voice of Black America, Roland. I love y'all. All momentum we have now, we have to keep this going. The video looks phenomenal. See, this difference between Black Star Network and Black-owned media and something like CNN. You can't be Black-owned media and be scared. It's time to be smart. Bring your eyeballs home. You dig? Thank <laughs> you.